Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. Of course, any reasonable person is sad for the countless people affected by the coronavirus pandemic. For example, those who have lost jobs, gotten sick, and yes, died. I certainly am sad about it. Yet, I find the sadness modulated by the following. Just maybe one or more of the, these might at least modestly improve your state of being. First, as an introvert who nonetheless wants to please others, the stay home edict has reduced the pressure on me to be social. I'm enjoying my increased solitude. It's even enabled me to experiment with new routines that make my solo time more enjoyable. For example, I've discovered the fun of doing New York Times crossword puzzles. Another example, I rarely watch TV, but now my wife and I are enjoying binge watching Better Call Saul. It's a series of particular interest to the psychologically oriented. A major theme is the relationship between two siblings that's affected by the traumas they've inflicted on each other. Even before the pandemic, two thirds of my clients worked with me remotely, in part because of the aforementioned, because of the traffic, which is unbelievable here in the Bay Area. But now 90% of me, 90% of them worked remotely with me and the other 10% have sessions with me outside while we walk. It's a hell of a nice way to make a living. Parenthetically, I might mention that I find remote sessions as effective as in-person ones. And with my phone and FaceTime clients, I'm able to move around rather than be chained to my chair, as they say, sitting is the new smoking. While I am following the rules about restricting driving, when I do have to drive, there's no traffic. That is such a stress-relieving break from the virtual parking lots that are caused by San Francisco Bay Area's long-standing edict against building new freeways. In recent years, long distance travel has become particularly challenging. Before Corona, my wife and I often flew to relatives in the Midwest or East Coast. Now, just in the past week, we had both a virtual Passover Seder and an Easter brunch. Easy peasy, no packing, no TSA lines, no congested flights. We just clicked on the Zoom link and voila. With the world having slowed, I feel okay about taking a bit longer in the shower, reading a novel, playing in my garden, and in my hikes with my doggie. I'm even a little more patient when Hachi feels the need to sniff every square inch of grass before deciding it's worthy of his deposit. Of course, for most people, silver linings in the coronavirus crisis are dwarfed by the evils of the pandemic, natural ones and man-made like the scams. But perhaps there's at least a scintilla of saving grace in this articles, in this talks, ideas. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and uh, I especially like it if you hit the social media button, the share button below, so you can share it on your social media and therefore my efforts have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.